In this video, there's tons of colorful sweets that you can turn into little accessories. Here's everything in this month's mandala box, and I'm gonna start off by making a little waffle bowl. I used the dough color clay and pressed it around the sides of the mold until they reached the top, and then I baked it. I baked the clay for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. To fill the bowl, I used this little ice cream scoop mold and then I also hand sculpted some little scoops of ice cream. I put extra clay in the bottom to hold all of it together and then later I'm going to add some banana slices but you can also add strawberry or orange or any of the fruit canes that come in the box. If you want to make it into a charm, you can add an eye pin and I'm just bending the eye pin before I put it in so that it will catch all the different pieces of clay and it will stay in place longer and you won't have to glue it. Now I'm just adding more texture. And I made sure to press the canes in to the clay very deep so they kind of stick together and then once they bake, they'll kind of fuse. To make the donuts, I used a dough colored clay and just rolled out a little strip and then added it to the different molds you can use. To make a regular donut, I added a little bit of the frosting color at the bottom of the mold and then on top of it I added the dough color. Some donuts I added sprinkles but for this one I'm just picking the clay apart to look like little fruity pebbles. Now I'm making a donut that has pink frosting, so I'm going to put the pink clay at the bottom and then the dough color on top of that. And these are the other donut molds. You can change the color. They don't all have to be um, dough color. They could be chocolate or pink like for strawberry. And now I'm going to make a little chocolate cocoa pebbles type donut. And a lot of these were inspired by voodoo donuts. They're so cute. I've never eaten one, but they look really pretty. I added Fimo Deco Gel here to keep all the sprinkles in place. But that's totally optional and they'll stick without the Fimo Deco Gel. Now I'm going to make my favorite thing, which are these little froyo cups so I'm just going to use the mold and add some white clay and then you can use like the end of a pencil or a pen just to press the clay into the mold and you want to have it hollow in the center so of course you can put some ice cream in it. I made a lot of the cups white but you can make them any color 
um, and then once it's all finished you can bake it for about 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit If you want to make these in a charms, I suggest adding the ice cream into the little cup before you bake it and then that way it'll just all stick together a lot easier. If you bake these separately, just remember to glue everything in place after. So I wanted to make like a neon sherbet color so I mixed yellow, green, blue and pink and just swirled it around and popped it into the ice cream scoop mold and then I took the rest and kind of swirled that into a cone and pressed it into the little froyo um, mold. The froyo or ice cream swirl mold has two slits in it that makes it easier so, um, to pop it out at the end. Just remember when you're filling the mold just to press the little slits together so everything is closed. So here I made a little green froyo cup and a pink one. And here are the eight different molds in this box. And here's everything now that it's finished, the little donuts and the froyo. With the findings in the box, you can turn these into charms, earrings, rings, or keychains. So I hope you love this video and box and if you want to check it out, don't forget to visit mandalaart.com. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.